Good afternoon, I'm Chief Meteorologist Mark Prater. Want to give you a quick update on what is happening with our weather across our area. First off, we have a weather alert which is in effect until 8 o'clock tonight, and that is for the entire viewing area. The good news here is we are starting to see this line that has been producing severe thunderstorms as well as large hail, very heavy rainfall, gusty winds now moving out of our northwest county. So I anticipate the counties you hi see highlighted in yellow, that is a tornado watch until 6 o'clock. I'm betting offhand we'll start to see some of these getting trimmed back as we get later into the evening. But right now, there is a very strong thunderstorm moving through the city of Jasper. Anywhere from exit 52 down to 65, it is absolutely pouring. And this is actually tracking towards the east rather quickly at about 40 miles per hour. So that would put some of the locations like Warrior in line within the next 20 to 25 minutes, as well as Palmerdale, all good within the next 30 to 45 minutes. Now, just to the north, we also have another cell that is moving through Coleman County, but this is the main show right now that we're watching very carefully, also this cell in particular. Now, live out on Interstate 22, we have meteorologist Nate Harrington, who is out in our CBS 42 weather alert unit. Most advanced system out there, and Nate, you've been checking the gauges. You finally got a chance to get out. What can you tell us? Well, we were tracking the storm that you were talking about, the really strong thunderstorm turned severe. Basically, right as we went through it near Jasper, the, the, the thing started putting down hail like crazy. We, we were seeing big chunks of hail coming down out there. And basically, right, right over my uh, right shoulder is where that severe thunderstorm is. And uh, we decided to pull off and try to intercept it and try to get uh, a, a better idea. The winds have started to freshen a little bit. We're starting to get uh, some rain at this point. And as this uh, moves closer to us, doing the minimum speed limit on 22 right now, 40 miles per hour, it looks like probably in the next uh, 10 or 15 minutes or so, this thing's going to go blow right past us. After that, we're going to try to chase it as it uh, heads closer to the Met Birmingham Metro. But if it has any punch left that it did uh, when we passed it, this thing's going to pack uh, a lot of winds and a lot of hail. Also, some very heavy rainfall. We picked up about a, a quarter of an inch to about a, a third of an inch of rain just while we were underneath that strong thunderstorm uh, and that was about 10 or 15 minutes. So this thing is uh, is packing a lot of punch uh, as it continues to move to the east, Mark. All right, Nate, thanks so much. And uh, as uh, he was talking about, we're seeing that same uh, intensity on the radar. And with this in mind, it is uh, tracking towards the north and east, that one particular cell. But as we look at the overall track of this, uh, we're looking at places like Empire. You'll start to get some of the heavier rainfall within the next five to seven minutes. And then eventually Warrior, as I mentioned, about 17 minutes. Gardendale, you will also see this portion of the line, but the cells are still tracking towards the east-northeast. So don't be surprised to get hail out of these. We've had a number of spots that have reported hail, not only in our area, but more so across the Tennessee Valley, and that has been an active area with even a couple of tornadoes earlier today. Now, we're looking at about a 10-mile stretch from the uh, county line from Walker right over northern Jefferson to I-65. So it's not taking real long for these storms to cover a lot of ground. And this is right on track with the forecast we've been giving you timing-wise. It has uh, really been almost down to the 10 to 15 minute time frame, but we are watching this track towards the east and as it does, it is going to bring very heavy rainfall, hail, a lot of cloud to ground lightning and gusty wind. So please stay inside, stay off the roads. This won't take long to pass and as it does, it will uh, certainly be noticeable, but everything to the north and west, especially in Marion as well as Winston counties, things are uh, quiet and actually I think you're really out of the woods now with the potential of severe weather way, way down. Now also we have this particular uh, cluster of storms which is headed into northern Blunt County. That is helping to uh, at least warrant a, a severe thunderstorm warning for northern Blunt County and that stretches back up towards Albertville. I know we have some viewers up there as well, so you do have a severe thunderstorm warning as well. And then Gadsden, you're in the clear at this juncture, but uh, not much to show you as far as storms yet. We'll take a live view of our camera from Gadsden coming up in our next update. So uh, we are watching this very carefully and riding along with you as we go through the afternoon, and we will have much more about this and how, how much more we're going to be dealing with as we go through the rest of this evening, I can assure you it's going to be a quick hit and run with this line of storms. So with that all said, for the rest of the CBS 42 Storm Track weather team, 
I'm Chief Meteorologist Mark Prater, and we're now about to join Wendy Williams in progress. This has been a CBS 42 Storm Track Severe Weather Update.